It's Japan Fire Robin. Yeah, I, I, I'm exhausted. It's like 7 o'clock at night right now. Um, after the NJCC 2014, which was amazing, but by 9.30, it was packed. 9.30, 10. Because 10 o'clock, everybody, you know, drops down to $10 for the early birders. Early birders. The early birds, they get... Uh, it's 20 bucks. Um, so, but, you know, as they say, early bird catches the worm. So I'm drinking some coffee and uh, trying to keep myself up. Now, I posted a teaser on my Facebook. Not the Japan of Fire Rob. That's going bye-bye. Uh, I'll probably be deleting that very soon. Uh, because I just can't handle all the... What is it? Not traffic, but I just can't handle multiple things. Multiple social networks kind of stuff. I can only do so much. And especially with the time that I'm, you know, pressed with. But I got a special one. So, I'm going to go through my haul. And then I'm going to go through my son's haul. With him. So, uh, he was so good for his first con. And seriously, I think he, he himself was really his brain just was like <laughs> because of so many toys and uh he was really really just happy and there's a lot of cool things and we get you know at this one we get to see the prototype of the deca chronos and this thing looks awesome and the scale it, it's enormous it's 12 inches, it's amazing looking, can't wait to get it, you know. Uh, so, anyway, without further ado, I'm going to do my haul, and boy, is it an epic one for a 40th birthday. I mean, this thing is huge of a big haul, alright? Now, there are... There's a lot of different things going on here because I did get a lot. I mean, I went totally apeshit because this was like, you know, my 40th big thing. And my birthday ain't on until March 12th. So being the 9th today, or well, whenever you watch this, it'll be whatever date you decide to watch it. And there's little, little Kai. I'm who, waving. No, that's perfectly fine. I'm just saying that that was you. <laughs> so, yeah, we, uh, I was so amped for this thing this year. I had everything planned out to, you know, a list and everything like that. But as usual, I mean, the list went kind of out the window. I got most of the stuff from the list. I have a good, maybe six figures out of the list. But, uh, a lot of them just, I, they just went right out the window. Uh, I got a lot of stills, but let me explain something. By 9, 10 o'clock, after I was mostly done with a lot of my shopping, videotaping was impossible. Like, I mean, seriously, you would be walking in the, 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 just like this, you know, like literally. And there were bodies, and if you had bags, you were holding the bags either behind you or in, for, in front of you. So, and people were just covering tables. So, trying to get footage was, you know, you, you could either lift the camera up or you can do what, so I did the best I could. I at least got four minutes, 
but the halls was what you guys were here for. And as I said again, epic haul. Um, really just an epic haul that I got and was very pleased with it. So, yeah, without further ado, I say we go check that. And then for a little bonus, for all you Star Wars fans, vintage fans, you got to see what my son got. It is amazing. I'm proud of the kid because he loves Star Wars. I love Star Wars, too. I mean, my collection has a lot of the vehicles. Um, I have the uh, Sideshow, you know, IG-88. And, uh, you know, there were certain aspects that I loved about that, you know, about the series. And we can't wait until the seventh movie comes out next year. So, he really, I mean, this kid really loves Star Wars. I mean, completely, completely in love with Star Wars. Um, Kai, grab your hat and bring it over. But I, real quick, I gotta show you this. Hurry up, hurry up, hurry up. Look at this. This kid loves Star Wars so much. Look at that. Boba Fett. Boba Fett hat. I mean, he saw this, not at NJCC, he actually bought this at Spencer's, and he went nuts to just get it. So, you know, he has, he, he has a haul that is pretty amazing himself. So, without further ado, Kai, you want to take it away? Sure. Let's go to the, let's go to the hall. Yep. <laughs> <laughs> See you later, guys. <sighs> okay. Something different today. Table. So, um, this is what I'm trying to get by. Um, this haul is insane. Okay, uh, let's see, one, two, three, four, five, six, a box, that would be seven, and another bag with a bunch of other things in there, eight bags, full stuff. Now, I never had this guy, so, yes, I got myself, now, and yes, okay, this is bent, it's not 100%, but figure is in really good condition. There's like nothing wrong with the figure. To have the G1 box, it's always a bonus. Um, the original tape's still on it, even though it looks horrible, but the original tape's still on it. So, I mean, it's gonna stay like this, but I'm gonna take it out. Like I said, this, you know, I always wanted one, so I grabbed it, you know, and I'm not gonna complain. Next G1, he's missing some parts. So, if I can find the parts cheap, I'll, I'll order them. Yeah, I got a G1 Trypticon. And just to prove, he does walk. Uh, where's the switch? So, I mean, to have him walking good and then the bag with most of the stuff now a lot of it needs cleaning maybe some repo labels if i can find uh but there is some pieces missing he did tell me now this guy does need some work a little cleaning up i think then he'll be fine uh there are some dust but i mean he works the stickers on him are not too bad the chrome back here is a little worn down g1s they tell a story um, the reveal sticker is still there and still works. So, I mean, I'm not going to complain. Uh, I'm going to have to look online for his transformation because I never had him and this is the first time. But, you know, I got the ramps and everything. All I got to do now is just look for the rest of the parts. And I have a picture where it actually has all the parts. So. Love the Trypticon. I grabbed Lugnut, the, uh, the animated series of Lugnut, and I like this. It's 100% complete. And it is, as you can see, Tidal Wave. So I was pretty ecstatic that I got Tidal Wave. This was one of the figures that was on my list. Again, 
uh, I just, for some reason, like the, the whole idea of making this a huge battleship. I know that the, this is the smaller version of the battleship. Uh, again, no instructions, but that's not a big deal because there's 4,000 reviews on this figure. So, he comes with the Minicon. He has the two missiles. I think two missiles. It might have came with three. I'm not sure. But, you know what? The price was right. I grabbed them. Good price. Definitely was a grab. Voyager class. Grimlock animated. Yeah, read that. That's, and it's sealed. Packaged. So, yes, now I have another Grimlock that, you know, can get put to the shelf of Grimlocks that I have. And I'm slowly getting all the Grimlocks. And then, I saw this one. And I got Swoop. So, I picked up Swoop. When I spotted this, I was like, that price has to be wrong. You know? Because he was going for $190, $200. You know? He was going for the upper pricing. $150. The box is open. The box is not in 100% condition. There's some dings. There's some scratches. But it's not that bad. Okay, so the next one that I did grab. Perceptor. And yeah, I know. I paid for 50 bucks for him, but he sealed in the box. Never was open. Um, so, good condition. The Velcro is a little eh, but as you can see, comes with everything. I did finally get a Perceptor that I did want. This was Charles' table. And Charles, I was glad that he had this. I was actually shocked, you know, that he had one left because... Most of his stuff was gone, you know. I know he went to the last one. I couldn't go. I was broke. But he had some amazing things, and he hooked me up. And I really, again, Charles, thank you so much. Um, yeah, Snarl for the animated. So uh, now I'm down. I got three of the Dinobots for the animated series. Now we're stepping away from the Transformers for a small while. And he had this. And I was going to get this. And he knocked the price down. And I'm not going to say what. Everybody that was around there when I grabbed this said, Get him. He is amazing. I was like, I am not turning this up. And like I said, the man keeps everything. And if I'm not mistaken, this is all from Big Bad Toy Store when they wrap it in the cellophane. He does not kid around. He keeps it in the cellophane wrap and everything. And I mean, that's what I appreciate. That is a good collector and a good seller, you know. Then I almost had heart failure when I saw this. Luckily, I still had a lot of money when, <laughs> when I walked over to the table and he was still setting up. And if I'm not mistaken, this is, this is Miracle House. This, wow. I, I, yeah, I know it's not Getter 1, and you know, but Shin Getter 2 is like another one that I just dig. I love that whole thin, skinny, you know, with the big ass drill and the hook. And, ugh. Thank you so much, Charles. For, for, you know, this this is going to get a good home. Trust me. Very good home. I will take good care of these. But, yeah, this was this was an epic day. Really an epic day. Not a final thing, because I bought more. Yeah, it never ends. This is, this is the 40th birthday of 40th birthdays. This thing has a gun that is the size of this box. The figure is only 7 inches, which is about maybe ye big. Okay, take a gander of the robot and take a gander of that rocket launcher. Holy...
I didn't get much video of the NJCC because I didn't decide to start recording until about 9 30, 10 o'clock. And that was a dumb move because I should have done it first. But I mean, when you're there buying, you want to be there early. You want to be there trying to scope out what you want and then start hitting tables before everybody else does. There probably was about 30, maybe 40 people, I'm guessing. And I was trying to go around the place as fast as possible. And remember, this time I had my son. I had my three nephews, my sister. It was really difficult because my son, it's his first con, and you're talking vintage. My son loves vintage Star Wars. And he just went, hey, crap. There were so many times I got pulled like that. Okay, so the first 50 people that came into the NJCC got a free uh, gift. It was kind of like a door prize. They are 1 18th scale, 4. Um, 3 and 3 quarter inch figures. So they gave you this awesome little gun set that... I thought it was really awesome, and I have a couple G.I. Joes that this will work nicely with. Then, all the way from, I think they were from California, I'm not sure. I, I know they come from all over the United States. Girls of the Finest, a calendar for 2015. And, I, you know, I gave $25 to get this calendar because, you know, first off, it, it's awesome that, you know, cosplayers like this have a group. They're doing something that's really, you know, the money's going to a good cause. Uh, it doesn't say on here where the money's going to, but I think it's going for um, injured um, soldiers and for ones that... But two of the girls were there, actually. Codenamed Diana and Codenamed Scarlet were both there. And I will put a link down to their Indiegogo page and also their Facebook page. These women were really sweet. They were awesome. They autographed these pictures that actually you only got at the NJCC. Uh, they were really sweet and they were really cool. Uh, just awesome to meet them and to really help something that's you know going to be awesome to have as a as a collectible in the future. And it's going to a good cause. So I mean, I will put the uh, the pages down there. Uh, but yeah. That was one of the things that I, I actually loved about this. So, it was cool meeting them. Then, there was one artist. Now, I remember his first name, Dan. I need to find his name. Uh, <laughs> I'll put it in the bottom. You know, it'll be in a caption somewhere here, maybe here, maybe in this side, because there's a white wall here, or maybe on the table. But Dan did a lot of inks, a lot of works. And what he did was he was doing the sketches, and then he makes prints of them. Inexpensive, cheap, you know, not kill the bank. So, first one that I grabbed was Fort Max. And a very awesome print of Fort Max. I will have to get frames for these. But I grabbed Fort Max was one of them, because I love Fort Max. Fort Max is an awesome character. But this is my car from the Alternator series. This is a full-blown picture of my car camshaft. And that's awesome because my car is camshaft. And I drive an Acura RSX and that's what he is. So yes, this was a definite to buy him. Definitely buy him. These two wreckers are my favorite. Whirl and Roadbuster. That is just an awesome picture. I cannot wait to get these all framed. I just love this. That is awesome. So like I said, when I finish this video and you guys see this, I know this video is probably going to go really long, but yeah, this I had to have. This is a really awesome print of Me uh, Optimus and Megatron going at the entire Dinobots. Now tell me that is not awesome. It is the entire team of the of the Dinobots, and that, my friends, was my epic fortieth NJCC haul.
And now I'm broke. <clears throat> I'm not broke yet. All right, peanut gallery. Nobody asked for you to say anything. Uh, yeah. But what a day. What a day. Sick. I was so amped for this thing. Didn't sleep that much. I got like three hours all together. Drove up to Cherry Hill, New Jersey at like... We left at 6.50. We got there around 7.50. And... Like, we were done by noon. <laughs> like, I was done by noon. <laughs> but, yes, that was the haul. I will leave the small video that I got because, like I said, it was horrible. I just, I waited too long. I should have did it in the beginning. And it was practically impossible. It was sardines. It points of the sh show, like, certain hall areas where you walk the aisleways were so crammed i was taking the camera and going like up up on my tippy toes and trying to squeeze through so yeah epic hall if you ever get a chance to come to the east coast and there's an njcc thing going on you really need to check it out it's a small venue but it's so awesome and it's packed uh, I mean, it's the last time I went was nothing compared to today. And uh, this has been Japan of Our Rob. Take care of yourselves, and I'll see you all on the flip side. Ciao.
Hey everybody, it's Japanophile Rob, and here's my son's haul today yep. at the NJCC. Mm -hmm. So, what do you got for us, Kai? Well, I have some action figures right This here. is an epic haul. And, and, and we're going to show you all these figures. So, so, so get your, so get your eyes, so get your eyeballs ready. This is a future YouTuber. So go ahead, Kai, show us what you got. First, we've got the Japanese version Samuraiser. And watch what it can do. On the inside, when you turn it on, it makes that kind of sound. Right. Okay. And, and what else does it do? Well, when you and then well, you fold it like this and then it turns into a pen. And then you, and then they like draw their their symbols. Oh, well, that's cool. That was like the first thing you found too, and you were you were they, they, this kid yeah. went completely crazy when I was pa when we were when we were passing his table. It's like he had the eyes of the tiger. Like literally, he grabbed me by my shirt and like <laughs> pulled me back, and I almost fell. <laughs> and yeah. he was like, "Daddy, they have it." And what was the other thing that you got with it? I got the belt holster. And besides, so, you can grab your Japanese version Samurizer. And, and stick it, it right in there? Yep. You just like this? Like this. And then there it goes. And then you got it safe and protected. And the only thing now we have to find them is the... Um, belt. The, yeah, the belt. The Japanese belt. Because they never came out with one in Japan. So, I mean, uh, in America. So, the American one never had it. So, that's pretty cool. So, what else did you get? So, hang on a second. <laughs> you should just put it up. Everybody will understand. So, th what this looks like, everybody should know, is the C-3PO that yeah. was uh, destroyed. Yeah. He was broken up. Yeah. Boba Fett, like, shot him like this. Pew! And then he just fell into parts. And 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 his arms are removable. They're so that's really cool. easy to put. He's really easy to put together. Just have to slide in. Wow, kind of that's pretty awesome. And, and it you, even comes with the bag for Chewbacca. Yeah, you can you can just slide your CP three in there. All the pieces and everything. Yeah. So. Like this. Okay, so that's cool. All right, so what else did you get? Well, here we have Lando Calrissian. Oh wow! And and this and his and his cape thingy is removable. Watch. I wouldn't suggest though to remove it. I mean, that's okay if you want to, because I mean, he has the cape. It's kind of a pla uh, like a, a soft, real soft plastic. So. Mm -hmm. And and here's and here it is. And here's Lando. Looks like he's smiling, isn't he? And that's pretty cool. And now we're gonna move on to to the next. Star yeah. So what figure. what else did you get? He he made a killing on Star Wars figures, and they were all vintage. This kid saved like all of his Christmas money, all of his birthday money, and literally bought everything that he wanted. Because why did you buy all these? You bought these so you can what? Reproduce what? The carbonite scene. You, you see, he wants to re reproduce the carbonite scene. Now tell me, the future of collectors of Star Wars fans is in the hands of this young gentleman right here. We must bow to him and bow to me because I'm the one that got him into it. Yeah. <laughs> I'll pat myself on the back for that one. No, I'm kidding. No. Uh, <laughs> so yeah. what else did you get? We, well, we've got SpongeBob in Lego, and the and the cool thing is that this part is all just one piece. Oh wow! So yeah, Kai Kai wants to get the SpongeBob stuff, but we found a figure and he actually wanted it. Uh, the pr the figure was a little pricey, if you ask me, but I mean, you know what? He wanted it. He had the money. It yeah. was a little awesome thing that yeah. he wanted. So yeah. you can now do whatever you want with it. And and. And I also made him a little Krusty Krab uniform. It's right over there, but, oh. but I think I won't show it right now. 
So that's it for SpongeBob. Oh, and his legs are small. So yeah, you have a whole bunch of other Star Wars figures. You kind of jumped jumped the gun here. So let's go through the Star Wars figures because that's all okay. you got left. So we'll move all this stuff. And uh, what do you got here? Go ahead, start showing. Here we have Return of the Jedi Han Solo. He and he has a poncho, and here's his blaster. It's a pretty cool blaster, eh? And his poncho is removable. Watch. Well, that's kind of like you're reviewing it, though. But that's cool. I think people will understand. Why don't we get to the next figure? And there's the poncho. And here he is. <laughs> Just playing. And now then, moving on to the next figure. Well, you, you got to disassemble C-3PO. Why don't you show... Yeah, that's it. Okay. And here we have Chewbacca with his crossbow. And his, and if you get Chewbacca, it would be super hard to get to keep his crossbow in his hand. So so I just put it on like he's wearing a purse. Well, that's cool. <laughs> so you put it on like that. Okay, that's cool. And, and his face <coughs> looks kind of like a kitty cat. Oh, yeah, I can see. So what else did you get? Well, I've got... Yeah, I would get. I would do the two of those. Do both of them, Kai, at once, because then it makes it, you know... So, this kid wanted to, like, make sure that he got almost everything, like, proper for this to recreate the scene. Um... You know, Kai's new at this. He's done he's done reviews on his little uh, iPad, but you know, he he wants to be perfect with everything. Okay, so so, so here we have my stormtroopers. That's awesome. Yeah. You got you got a pair of stormtroopers now that miss yeah. everything. <laughs> and watch this. I can make them fight. Beep, 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 beep. Okay, that's cool. Yeah. So what else do you got? Okay, and here we have Hulk Han Solo. As you can see, he's in his smuggler's jacket, and and look at the detailing on his face. And his feet, I like the feet, because cause they are like really wide feet. Oh, oh, this kid knows his stuff. And here's the gun. It doesn't look pretty much like his blaster, but I'll go with it. Um, okay, now then, moving on. Uh, be careful. Uh, go ahead. Get it, go get the next one. This is hilarious. Okay. Hang on a second. <laughs> he really wants to be perfect. You know, Kai, you have to do a lot of editing if you're going to do this kind of stuff. You have to be prepared. And here we have Princess Leia disguised as Bosch. And the helmet is removable. So there's those. Besides, that's kind of like the spear stack. gun, right? That's kind of yeah. like it. It's almost like a sniper spear gun. Yeah. That's pretty cool. Here's the helmet. Doesn't have. It has no detail. <laughs> We're getting a review here too. <laughs> but, but 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 the figure it looks really detailed. So what else did you get? Because okay. there's a little story to the next one. We we well show the other one first. No 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 not that. Uh, it, show yeah show that first, okay. and then we'll go to the. Uh... And here's CP three O where he's not broken into parts. Okay, so this this is just a basic basic C three P O, but not the uh, t the uh, disassembled three P O. You can you can use them for for any movie, just except for the one where Anakin joins the Force. Right, Dad? Yeah. Yeah, because he was more silverish, if I'm not mistaken. Uh, eh, kind of. Well, no, that was the first two. No, maybe. no, no. He, he was, he was, um, uh, he, he was, he was kind of naked and his parts were showing. Ah, yes, yes, I remember that now. So, okay, why don't you show us the, the, the big figure that, and tell, you know, we have a little story behind it. So, anyway, Kai got this for Christmas. Here's, and here's, here's my new Black Series Boba Fett figure because my old one, 
got chewed up by, by my new puppy. Yeah, here. we just got a new puppy, and he named him Vader. And Vader wasn't pleased with Boba Fett, so he chewed him. Um, so Kai bought another uh, Boba Fett, and because Kai loves on Boba Fett. On besides, his his jetpack is removable, and a, now it kind of looks like he has nothing on his back. <laughs> so what was the deal with this now? So, you got you got something down here that was really interesting. So at the NJCC, they had, they had. Um, they they saw Boba. I saw Boba Fett, and I got and I got his picture with him. And look, I also got his autograph. Yeah, it's kind of like well, it's not really his autograph. He didn't write it on there, but the, these guys are from. Uh, they're from uh, Mandalorian. Mandalorianmerks.com, and this one, Var Dodger Wraith. Wrath um, was was there, and I have a picture that Kai um, was uh, Kai took a picture with him. And uh, you, the smile on his face says a thousand words. But he handed out these cards to all the kids, and it actually even shows you know his his stats and everything, which is pretty cool. And uh, that was an awesome. So what what did you think of the NJCC? Why don't you tell everybody about that real quick? Okay. So here's what the NJCC was like. Well, yeah, for your first con. Because this was his first con, by the way. Let me tell you. It was great! <laughs> so you really enjoyed it. So you're going to go to a lot of other cons? Yeah. <laughs> So, Kai's being a little silly right now, because he was really, we had a blast today, and for it being his first one, Ooh. and he's going to be a ham right now. So, Kai, why don't you say bye to everybody, and thank them for checking out your haul, okay? Goodbye, everybody, and thank you for checking out my haul, uh, and thumb up for you guys! <laughs> Alright, guys, we'll see you on the flip side. Ciao!